extension exercise and I tell you what it'll work your legs it'll work your hamstrings and your quads your hip flexors and your glutes so let's go ahead and do that basically here's how you start it like you're sprinting okay instead of getting down like like you know if you're sprinting a hundred yard dash or something like that we're not doing that okay but you kind of get in the same position all right so you want to get the more extended you can get the better okay you get your arm out in front, you look ahead, you bring your leg up, okay? And at the same time you bring your leg up, your right leg up, your opposite arm, left arm comes up, okay? Bring it back down, extend out, not too far, but extend out, bring it back up. All right, here we go. One, two, kind of hold it, hold it up there, three, four, and five okay normally you can do 10 on each leg 15 on each leg even 20 on each leg but it's better to go 10 on one side 10 on the other and go back and forth but i tell you what holding it up there it'll work your legs okay now we'll do the other side okay same thing opposite extend out bring it up one here we go two you can do it three four and five so if you're looking for an exercise that's going to help your motor system your nervous system learn balance control and control tell you what you need to do sprinters the full extension exercise it will tell you what it works your abdominals it works your core also but it teaches your nervous system how to recruit the proper muscles to maintain stabilization so it's an awesome exercise Incorporate that into your weekly plan, your weekly routine, and I tell you what, if you're a runner or if you do plyometrics or you play sports, wow, it's going to greatly improve your agility, speed, and quickness. So incorporate that. Thanks again for joining us here at No More Excuses Get Fit. Get excited! Mm -hmm. 